wheelbarrows. Garden carts. Which one's better? We'll find out. Stay tuned. So in today's video, we're gonna go over some of the differences really, Brett, between garden carts and wheelbarrows, which ones are better for what jobs. Right. So here we got a single wheel wheelbarrow, that's about six cubic foot tub, it's a steel tub. We have an eight cubic foot plastic tub, two wheel wheelbarrow. And then we have a four wheel garden cart. So obviously wheelbarrows and carts both come in a variety of different sizes. We got big wheelbarrows, small wheelbarrows, same with the carts. Let's have a few talking points and we'll see where each one shines. So first we're gonna start with the single wheeled wheelbarrow, which is the most conventional of anything you'll find. For every, say, one double wheeled wheelbarrow or one garden cart you find, you're probably gonna find 20 single wheeled wheelbarrows. They're very common. So where these are really gonna shine is for things like dirt, stone, when you have to dump things, especially in tight places, if you have to fit between a certain size opening or around a corner, these are much easier to get around corners and tight places than these other two are. And it's also going to be much more practical. If you have that thing full of dirt, it's about as much as you're going to want to push across your yard. If you fill this thing with dirt or stone, it's going to be too heavy for most people to actually use. So this would be better if you're going to do something light like mulch or wood chips or maybe brush or something to that effect. Yeah, something where you want a lot of volume, but it's not heavy, so the weight doesn't really matter. So where the two-wheel wheelbarrow is gonna come in more handy is when you wanna move more bulk, like I said. Mulch, hay, wood chip, something that's physically bigger, even firewood. Firewood's heavy, but it's not nearly as heavy as something like dirt or stone's gonna be. So you can move a lot more firewood quickly with this than you could with this. But the disadvantages are, like we mentioned previously, it's much more cumbersome. It doesn't turn sharp on two wheels versus one. And it's just a little more, takes up more space than the single wheel. Yeah, I'd say a lot of the advantages that you'll have with the single wheeled wheelbarrow in terms of like how it handles and how sharp it can turn stuff, 90% that's gonna be lost with the double wheeled wheelbarrow when compared to the garden cart. But on the other hand, it's much more stable. You could pick up one handle and it's still gonna stabilize itself because it has two wheels and it has a fairly wide wheelbase. Whereas a single wheel, you have to have both arms and you have to physically steady the wheelbarrow from tipping over, which you wouldn't have to do double on a double wheel wheelbarrow unless you are on really uneven ground and you're on a side hill or something to that effect. So let's move on to the cart. Now, the biggest advantage of the cart is that you don't have to pick it up. So that means you can have the cart chock full, like let's say you had big plywood sides on it that were two feet tall on the front, back, and both sides. You can have it chock full of something heavy like dirt, and as long as you can physically pull it, you can move it, it's on wheels. You don't need to pick it up or push it, you can just pull it, which is going to be a lot easier. One of the biggest advantages to the car is gonna be the volume that you can move. I think this car is, yeah, it's about 34 by 52. So give or take, with the high sides on it, with the one foot side, you could probably get around 12, 15 cubic feet of material versus an eight cubic foot wheelbarrow. So you could fit easily double in this, but you couldn't even the double wheel wheelbarrow. And the single wheeled wheelbarrow is gonna be even smaller. But like we said, carts do come in different sizes. There's carts that are only as big as these wheelbarrows. So it depends on what you buy. This is one of the larger carts. Uh, it has a 1400 pound, capacity or it might be 1500 pounds i'll have to look on gorilla's website but this car is really heavy duty it's got a wide wheelbase it's very stable on hills and these sides are actually removable which you can turn it into a flatbed to carry longer things like big pallets or lumber or something that you couldn't physically fit in this footprint so let's demonstrate that right now
as you can see there, it only took us a matter of what, 10 seconds maybe, 15, 15 seconds? 15 seconds, yeah. To convert this into a flatbed cart. Now let's say you have this pallet here. It's, I want to say, four feet by eight feet. Is that what you said? Yep. Yeah, four feet by eight feet. If you want to put this on a wheelbarrow, either the single wheel or the double wheel, you'd have to rest it on top, which is really dangerous and can only do a tipping really easily. But with this, you can just put it on the flatbed and within reason you can just roll it around as my father's demonstrating. No. And this problem. is a big pallet. Most pallets are not going to be a four foot by eight foot footprint. They might be four foot by four foot. 48 by 48 or 40 by 40. You know, this is about as big of an item as you're going to move realistically. But try putting this on the wheelbarrow. It will fit on, but good luck trying to move it. Even if you can get to the handles, as soon as you pick the wheelbarrow up, it slides yeah, off. Want to slide off. So that's one of the big advantages to these carts is they're more multi-use than a wheelbarrow. The wheelbarrow really specializes in dumping things. The cart. Specializes in more moving, less dumping. The cart doesn't dump, but they do make dumping carts. This particular one doesn't, but there is another big advantage that we want to show you. Another big advantage is on this, the handle is reversible, so you can hook up to a machine, as my father's about to demonstrate with the 440 APC here. Which is, in fact, a third of his Super Garden Tractor collection. If you haven't seen the Super Garden Tractor video, I recommend it. It's very interesting. Like it's obviously a little bumpy, but that's to be expected when we're going over ruts that are three, four inches deep, you know? So let's see how much black locust we can fit in the car. So that's about half of a 330 gallon IBC tote. It's a lot of wood. See my father pull it. So as you can see the garden cart, no problem. Pulls it just fine. Because this is essentially a trailer. Wheelbarrows are meant for trailers. So as you guys can see, we have both wheelbarrows built to what can really only be described as overflowing with wood. And we still have quite a decent amount left in the car. And the other thing is, I don't even know if you could push this once it's so heavy because there's so much wood in there. You know? But do you see how much, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that tire is sagging a lot now because how much wood is in it. That one's not really, but that one is.
So you were able to see there that the cart holds a lot more wood than the wheelbarrows do. It's easier to tow around, you can use the machine. It only takes a matter of seconds to turn it into a flatbed or a matter of seconds to turn it into a hitch that a machine can tow with. And I think we calculated that wood is about 800 to 1,000 pounds. That 330 gallon tote holds about 50 to 55 cubic feet. And this was this had half the tote in it. So you gotta figure 25, maybe to 27 cubic feet of wood, which is about a fifth of a cord. And black locust dry is 4,000 pounds or so a cord. Wet, it's more like 4,600. And that's not totally dry or seasoned. So I'm gonna say it's a fifth of, let's say 4,300, which is that 800 and 850, 860 pounds. It's probably around 900 pounds of wood that we are hauling in here. But I know this will hold more. It's rated for, I think, 1,400 or 1,500 pounds. I forget exactly. Yeah, it's not rated for like 1,000 pounds. It's rated for a lot of wood. So, so you could hold a lot of wood in here. So the last thing we're going to showcase is the stability test. Now, me and Brett together are over 400 pounds. Now I'm 180, he's 225, so 405 pounds. Um, so this has a wider wheelbase, it is a bigger cart. The narrower, the smaller the carts are, the smaller the wheels and the narrower they get, so the more likely to tip. But something big like this, I mean, you can see, 400 pounds wiggling around, it's rock solid. We were to do that in the wheelbarrow, I think we both end up with our faces in the mud. Yeah. Which isn't a thing I want to do. No, it's not. So as you can see, this cart and that wheelbarrow, they're both steel. And now you can get both carts and wheelbarrows in steel or plastic. We prefer steel, it's a little bit heavier, but it's a lot more durable. It's in our opinion, a lot better. In our opinion, it is just a better material. And actually, if you want to come over, we can show you why we don't like plastic. So as you can see, this wheelbarrow has a big crack there, has some cracks here, cracks here, big, I don't even know what you call that, like just a hole there. And this wheelbarrow, which is, we don't know how old, no cracks, no nothing, it's fine. And now I actually have a wheelbarrow at home. It's a single wheeled wheelbarrow, very similar to this one, just a smidge smaller maybe five cubic feet instead of six let's say but we only used it for firewood and like this one we never beat on it we weren't rough with it just we used it normally and over time it's gotten a lot of cracks and chips and stuff like that in it exactly like that one does and so that's why we prefer metal and so at home now we have a metal wheelbarrow which is seven cubic feet i believe so it's bigger than this one but smaller than this one those are good points, Brett. I think that red wheelbarrow uh, has actually been passed down to a few different people. It's kind of like a family, family heirloom, I guess you could say. It's been, I don't want to say abused, but it's been used well. It's had handles replaced a couple times. It's had concrete mixed in it. It's been used a lot. And it's probably at least two to three times older than the blue wheelbarrow, which I bought new probably maybe 11 or 12 years ago. But Brett brought up some good points about durability, which is something to keep in mind. I don't care how tough they claim the plastic or the polymer or whatever it is, it just doesn't hold up over time. No. Unless you're going to use it for mulch or something really soft. If you're planning and dumping stones or rocks or gravel or firewood, I would just get the steel and be done with it. Yeah. So in the beginning of the video, we said wheelbarrow or cart, which one? Now at the end of the day, it really is going to depend on what you need to use it for, your specific tasks, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So if I were to tell you which one I prefer, I would greatly prefer the cart over the wheelbarrows. So if you have a tractor with a bucket or a loader or whatever, the wheelbarrow kind of loses a lot of its charm because one of its biggest features over the cart, or some of the carts, is that it can dump, which they have dumping carts too. But I think the wheelbarrow's biggest advantage is dumping I think everything else, the cart is just as good in or better. So I like the carts. I recommend getting a bigger cart because you get a wider wheelbase. It's more stable, can hold more, has bigger tires, so it rolls better. And you can always use a big cart with less stuff in it, but you can't put more stuff in a cart once it's full if it's small. So my personal favorite would be a bigger four-wheel cart. 
but at the end of the day, it's up to you. Also, another thing to consider is my father owns a big country property, you know? Let's say you own a acre property in the suburbs. A big garden cart like this, it's not going to be practical. You're never going to be moving stuff far enough that you're going to warrant such a big cart. And you would honestly be better with a small wheelbarrow, especially because it's so easy. And or movable. a small cart. Or a small cart, yeah. But I don't think that a big wheelbarrow or a big cart would be right for you. I think you'd want to go with something smaller. And then, like we said, at the end of the day, it's going to be up to you what you have to use it for, what you have for a property. All that kind of stuff is going to factor in. There is also cost. I think the carts in general are going to be a little more expensive, but not a lot. Maybe 20, 30, 40 bucks more. Yeah, maybe 10% more, 15% more than a cart. But if you're spending $100 or $140 or whatever, at the end of the day, you have it for 10 or 15 years. Is it really a big difference? To me, it's not. It's not like you're spending thousands more for one versus the other, or even hundreds more. It's a matter of 10, 15 dollars. Maybe $20 more for one versus the other. But we hope you've enjoyed today's video. We hope it gave you some ideas and thoughts. And if you're thinking of getting a cart or a wheelbarrow, which one might be right for you? And as always, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned.